don't have to worry about Social Security either. I called them. I called them and was reassured on a recorded line that I have time to play with. They're not just going to snatch my benefits away because I don't return the form within 30 days, okay? Woke up in a really, really, really bad mood. I had like horrible nightmares. Because it makes me sick when people think that, that it's like so wrong for my mother to not actually make money off of her own child, you know what I mean? It's like, who's disabled, who has a limited income, I mean, it blows my mind when people think that, that that's wrong, and it, it feeds off of what, what how auntie was feeling, okay? And one of the things that my mom, because my mom would say, it's no big secret, you know. I do think you should be paying rent, you know. And one of the things that my mom was getting, like, like, um, agitated or whatnot, she actually called and left a message with one of Auntie's sons saying, you know, remember the, the, you know, the other one, you know, he, your mom forced me to have him live with me for a whole year and he only paid $50 a month. That was when my mom had the huge house, was living there alone. Um, Her husband was in the nursing home, or maybe had already passed away, I don't know. But regardless, I wrote this all down. I wrote it down, my mom wrote it down before she... Uh, left it on a message or something. That's how she feels. You would think it's just horrible if I live here rent-free. Not for free, mind you, just rent-free. Um, my mother does not adhere to that belief, not even remotely. And she gets pissed off at people who do think that, you know. She doesn't want to take money from me. Even when I was first living here and paying for everything, 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 which meant in the end I paid the equivalent of four or $500 rent uh, for those 10 months. So in the end I still paid her more than she ultimately, you know, gave back to me and got in trouble for that, too, you know. Yeah, she said that because she was pissed. She's pissed that she's not allowed to just, you know, have her daughter here and and not be making money off of her daughter, you know. And she's like, look, I had, I, he stayed with me for a whole year and all he paid was $50 a month. And that's probably just to cover electricity, you know. 
because she had the home and she wasn't, you know, paying rent on it or anything, you know, and He had just gotten out of jail. She already told me if I leave, she's going to get Angel back. She has every right to do, even though, you know, I do think she should just let that woman keep Angel. And you know what? Angel's a responsibility, too. It'll be more things to remember, because Angel takes medication, and Angel this, this needs Benadryl, and you know what I mean? Omar, I take care of him. She gets the benefit of having him here. And of course, I'll say, she she offers to take him out sometimes, or I'll even say, you know, if, if he's, you know, can you take him out? But I'm the one who, who makes sure of everything. You know what I mean? I'm the one who puts the front line on him. I'm the one who makes sure, but you know, she can have him here and hug him and love him and whatnot, but she is not responsible for him as she would be responsible for her own fucking dog, okay? So there's another benefit to her, me being here. Oh, but I need to pay her rent, right? Because it's wrong if I don't. <laughs> the fuck? Such bullshit. Only in this money obsessed society it would it be wrong. Can't put a price on the things I do for my mother. In companionship alone. But my own friend has to make me feel guilty. I should be paying rent to my mother. It's the proper thing or, or whatnot. Is the attitude I'm getting. And though my mother doesn't want rent from me. And there's no stranger that could force her. Okay? I'm sure there are a hell of a lot of parents out there who would force their kids, even their kids on disability, to pay them rent. Because they adhere to that same thing. Why should you be living there not paying rent? You know? But my mom doesn't feel that way. My fucking mother doesn't want to make money off of her disabled daughter. We're talking make money, okay? If I paid her rent, I'm already buying all my own food. I'm already splitting all the costs of that, okay? So if I paid her any more than the cost of my internet and the cost of the electricity I use, okay, then she'd be making money off of me. 
And then it sure as fuck would be different than what my friend wrote. Well, you're really benefiting more than your mother's benefiting you having there. Yeah. If I'm not paying rent, I'm benefiting more. But it'd be a whole nother ball game if I was paying rent and doing all the things I do for her. Especially simply just providing her ongoing daily companionship. Okay? That's priceless. I should just take Omer and leave. She'll be, she'll want Angel back. No, let's see how well she does. All here, all by herself with Angel to take care of. This is so horrible if I'm here and not paying rent. to be devalued. No, the court can't make any decisions when it comes to me. It's the guardian thing's been dismissed. A conservator doesn't have that kind of power. It would only be my mom who could make those kind of decisions. But if I'm made to feel like shit, like I'm made, taking advantage of my mother, like my own, my online friend somewhat, you know, baby feel in her comments last night, that I read last night, you know, I'll just fucking leave. I think it's sick. It doesn't just apply to my mom.
particularly since I'm not, like, lying around, you know, drinking and smoking constantly or something, that's where all my money goes, you know, so you think, well, you should be paying some rent just so you can be, you know, I'm spending it all on organic food. And that is where it goes. I don't care what well, my friend thinks and she can't believe it or whatnot. It is where it goes. It is where the majority of it goes. But I don't... How often do I go out? Even when I drink, I buy cheap booze. I mean, it, it could add up the receipts and see. and I'll go into that. I still was buying camera memory. I do entertainment occasionally. I was paying $130 right off the top, just about, a little under, for my two storage units. You know? I moved far enough away when I was looking before. There are people offering cheap, like all expenses for four, sharing a place or whatever, and and just for, for it's you know if you go certain areas or whatnot for just four hundred dollars a month, you know. As I am concerned, a parent who doesn't need the money shouldn't be making money off their own kid. Period. Unless it's, you know, a kid who, who you know, like has a really good paying job or something like that. in the case of with Donald and Hope, I told you, she was the one caring for her grown son, okay, barely, you know, she did everything for him, okay, she, he didn't, he, she cleaned, she cooked, she did what, you know, she did everything for him, okay. This is a completely different situation. If you think I'm wrong to to feel that I should be valued enough that I shouldn't have to pay, my mom shouldn't have to make money off of me living here with her. Under the circumstances where I am providing a service, especially just companionship. Plus, I'm keeping an eye out on her and, and, and 
by virtue of who I am, I'm keeping her healthier than she would otherwise be on her own. And you can't put a price on that, you know. So yeah, I will. Whatever she said. My friend said, bite the nose that spites my face. Whatever, I will. On principle alone, I will. Knowing what I know. Knowing how my mom feels. Knowing how this situation is. It's a completely different situation than someone might think of something else, okay? It's all supposed to go to me anyway. Why can't I try to heal and benefit it from now and be able to, to continue doing my organic or whatnot and not have to pay my own mother money she doesn't fucking need? Okay? That's the bottom line here. And remember... When Auntie was trying to use me to, to, you know, to, to whatever, even, when my, you know, to get on my mom's good side or to just whatever. She had the same attitude. Your mom has all that money. Why shouldn't some of it go to you instead of, but she's just so it doesn't go to strangers. It was all just, you know, why shouldn't she use it to, to, Remember, even before the shit hit the fan, even when my mother was in the fucking mental hospital, my mom was trying to say to me, you know, auntie's saying we want to we wanna pay, you know, $175 towards your rent every month so you can get a better place on your own, you know. This was when they they thought, you know, my mom and I don't get along and I can't live with my mom. And this is before Auntie and I made amends or whatnot. You know, before all the shit at the fam. But still, it's along the same lines that I'm saying. Why should my mother make money off of me? As long as I'm not costing her one goddamn penny, why should she make money off of me? And essentially, if you're saying she has enough money to pay nearly $200 towards my rent in the outside world, you're saying the same thing. She's allowed to help out her disabled daughter. So my mom already basically said that to me, and it was auntie's idea. So, yeah, if it all switches around and, and people, and you know, put pressure on my mom that I should be paying her rent and whatnot, for what reason? Because she needs to, she doesn't need the money, but I should be paying rent just because, oh, it's wrong that I live here rent free. Oh. What kind of sense does that make? Seriously. Under the circumstances where I am doing a lot to help her out. And I'm providing constant companionship. And I can make sure everything's going okay. I'm here. You know? But if I'm not going to be valued. If it's just going to be seen that. Oh. You know. It's her doing me the favor. Then fuck it. I will leave. I'll find a way and I will leave. Okay? And I don't care if I'm biting the nose to spite my face. It's the principle of the thing. I want to be seen as a value, valuable in my mom's life. Not that, oh, she's just, you know, taking care of her loser of a daughter or whatnot. I mean, it was put down on paper. It was put down on paper prior to when she got committed into two different mental hospitals for a period of totaling like six months in a year's time, you know. I'm not pretending that I do so, so, so much for her. But when I'm here, it's a constant in her life that comforts her. And I help her just know, like, the right things to do. I teach her stuff, you know. And 
and you can't put a price on that. It's, it's not a situation where I'm just some bum and she's doing all the cooking and all the this and all the that, and, you know? And all the cleaning and I just lie around and do nothing and it's not like that. And you're telling me that's not worth me getting to stay here rent-free in a home she owns. When she makes plenty of money to live off of every month. And has a, a good amount in the bank. Even if she didn't have the good amount in the bank, she makes plenty enough to live off of every month. More than enough. The fact is, she does have that money in the bank. Auntie still has it all. Auntie has it all in Auntie's name. 